For today's video, I'm styling and profiling in my son's sweater that his grandmother bought for him last Christmas. That's hot. That's hot. That's how we get those male viewers up even further. We get them up. Get them up. Don't be getting the male <laughs> viewers up, Jen. We're putting a stop to this right now. Right now? This is not what we're here to talk about today. Nope. Scott finished the game, so we wanted to brag about it on video. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Tales of Arise on the PS5. Ooh, I should have packed a lunch for this sucker. <laughs> you should have packed a fucking week's worth of lunch for this sucker. We have, uh, what do you have, like seven different categories mm -hmm. here we're going to talk about over overall. Mm -hmm. We're going to jump right into it then, and we Straight are going into... to talk about the story. The story. The story on this game is Friggin' awesome. The whole game is based around um, astral energy. That's what they call their magic. Okay. It's, it all comes from astral energy. And the Renans are uh, enslaving the Danans, and then they have like a stone or something they attach to the back of their hand. When they make them do hard labor and stuff, basically siphons their astral energy, like their spirit oh. energy from their bodies at that point until okay. they're completely empty and then they... Pfft, so when you start off, you start off as, uh, they call him Iron Mask. Alfin is the main character, but you can switch through them all in your party. But mm -hmm. you start off as Alfin. Alfin is a Danon. Shion, female character, which is a Renan. This is a whole Romeo Juliet thing? Very much so. <gasps> the whole story. I guessed it! I know it! Basically a big love story with, you know, you're saving the world. Alfin is cursed with not being able to feel pain. Shion, because she's a Renan, she can use those astral arts, the magic. The Danans can't do that because there's... It's being siphoned from exactly, them constantly. Okay. Exactly. See? So she has this weapon called the Blazing Sword. Okay. It's a big fucking sword. It's fire sword, basically. When anybody wields it, it hurts them because it's on fire. He oh. doesn't feel pain, so he can wield it. He can wield it. And she has healing arts that can heal him after he uses it. So you, you start on this quest basically to free the Danans from Renans. And you have four lords that are running four different realms. And they all have their own special astral arts. So you go on these big quests in these different lands and you fight different enemies. Their monsters that you fight are called Zoogles. Sounds terrifying. Zoogles. Zoogles. Ah, oh, the Zoogles yeah, are You get, get wild, lots of wild ones that are roaming the country and stuff and you're gonna have to fight, but then you have Zoogles that the Renan have tamed and basically weaponized. That's as much as the story as I want to tell you guys because I don't want to spoil. Because it's a PS5 game, it's new. I do not want to spoil yeah. anything for you, but I will tell you that the story is freaking huge. It's, it's, it goes way beyond that. It's like a grand story. I don't even know the right words. Give me some good words for big story, Jen. Big story. Um, grandiose adventure. Oh, grandiose adventure. Yeah. yeah. You smart. I know the answer to this one. The difficulty, I will tell you what, this game can be very challenging if you want it to be. Yeah. Because there were points, like when I got to the fourth lord, his castle was a bitch. Like, oh, I know. The enemies, the knights, like his his uh, his knights and stuff, the, the soldiers were fucking strong. Maybe I wasn't leveled up far enough for them but they were beating the mm -hmm. hell out of me so much to the point of they were using up my resources really badly so i had to book it on out and then i went to the uh, the fishing hole there's a there's a spot where you can fish this man would spend hours <laughs> digitally fishing <laughs> no, hours <laughs> hours not just that our fucking son would come down and watch him fish and i'm like this is not interesting at all because I saw him do it for about five minutes. I'm like, seriously, Alex watched you do this for an hour? Oh, at least. <laughs> so anyway, I had to go and I had to do a lot of fish in there. We'll call it, lot. You know, Gone fishing. Grinding there for fish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'd sell fish to this guy and then I'd buy health and, you know, magic stuff like that. Yes, yeah. So I can go back in that castle and fucking fight. Not realizing up to this point, I know I had seen it at one point because you're in a battle. Yeah. And then I would go in and like take magic or uh, take some healing. Didn't realize, but you can flee. But I never did it <laughs> no, because you didn't I, know. I, I'm a full Rambo guy. I'm like, I get my face on, fuck you up. <laughs> didn't realize like 
what I thought when I go into that room and there's a chest there, I want to open that chest because there's got to be something good in there because these mother effers are freaking protecting it and they're baddies. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want, I want to see what's in there. Didn't realize that if I hit flee, I thought I was going to have to leave the room. Yeah. No. I found out that you flee, it just ends the battle and the enemies, I don't know, take a siesta somewhere. Yeah. And then the the chest is there and I can open it up. <laughs> and that's just, that's the crazy part. Like, you can make the game as difficult or as easy as you want. So you don't have to fight them. You'd be like, no. there are could enemies. you go away so I can have some, that thing? Yeah. Sometimes, though, <laughs> there are... There are battles with the bigger guys that you cannot flee. Okay. Yes, but, and I remember you telling yeah. me that as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's jump into gameplay. Gameplay. Um, it's action RPG. At first, um, wielding. I will let the cat out of the bag right now. Up to six characters in your party. Yes. Yeah. To hit those combo moves, the double team moves. They have like charge meter, fill up, you can activate them, boom, 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 on your D-pad. It can get chaotic. Oh, You've seen it. I seen it, I seen it. But towards the end of the game, I barely had to look because when I was playing, it was at the bottom left of my, my screen. Mm -hmm. So I'm fighting with, I'm using Alpha and fighting in the battle and it's chaotic enough with that guy. And I had to look on my 65 inch down in the corner and see who's activated, who has like a, a finishing move, basically, yes. you know? Yeah. And I'm like, take your eyes off for a split second to activate them. Uh, we watched you do one mission and we were just like, oh, I think he's got it this time. And well, yeah. just watching him go through them, I was like, it's like what? The hell, hell? hell no. How are you <laughs> I don't know that I want to do that. But you get used to you it. You do get used to yeah. it. And that's like any game you start. I really like the gameplay because it gave you uh, almost the whole time you could fast travel. Because the map oh, and the world, thank God. once you unlock the fast travel for that point, you can use it. Except for certain parts okay. of the story so where... So you have to unlock it in order you, to Once you get to... to well, it. you unlock it, you basically unlock that part of the map. Oh, yeah. You get to that part of okay. the map and then, okay, okay, now you can fast travel backwards. Unless you're into a certain point of the story where it won't let you. Just like, and that's... No, you got to get back there I on your own. You got to fight your way games. there. Yep. I think that's true of most games. Yep. I know when I played Horizon Zero Dawn, that was the same one. If I had been yep. there, I could fast travel where... Ever. And there were yeah. so many points on the map that I could fast travel to. Yeah, without the fast travel, oh, oh, the it, hours that would have put in, yeah. I would have put in well over 100 hours. And I know I went and looked at a couple of reviews after I was done the game there, and people have put 100 plus hours in Oh, it yeah. And it's a easily, game that you could. Easily, yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we're through gameplay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to graphics. I mean, I think it goes with that saying it's a PS5 game, so am I correct? These graphics are going to age really, really well. Now, you didn't see, but there are big cut scenes where they go into, like, yeah. anime. Yes. Where it plays out like a, a movie. Like uh, a movie. For, for a while there, especially towards the end there, where there's big, big cut scenes and okay. stuff. Yep. It's very nice to look at, but the, those colors are like water-based colors, right? Yeah. But they, in a good way. In a good way. So you can tell everything apart. Everything's very distinguishable. There, I don't have to, like... What's over there? Like, if you there's something I gotta collect over there, is usually like a little twinkle or something. Oh, okay. Over there, you yeah. find it. I, I don't think I missed much of anything. From what I've seen of the games, it looked really, really nice. It's definitely if you anime. Could, if oh yeah, if yeah. you like anime, I can't see why you wouldn't like this yeah. game. Yeah, it's really nice. Music and sound. Music and sound. All right. So, so when we, we say music and sound, we, we're talking dialogue as well, because yeah, that's part of it. That is part of my one gripe with the game. Yeah, okay? I knew you were going to say that. But I'll, let's get into the, the music part first. Um, music is very, I was describing it to Masana as being like uh, classical guitar, uh, orchestra, music and, and stuff. Like, very like into when you're running around music. the world and everything. Uh, but then when you get into some of the cutscenes, there is like some really nice like beautiful songs sung in I assume Japanese yeah yeah all really nice songs so music wise not all of it was like quite what I would like exactly yeah. but there was some that was really really good and then and others it, I think a lot of people would really consider the music in this like high end yeah oh, top notch sure. stuff now when you get more on the sound stuff when you're talking dialogue and I um, the voice actors did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent job. Um, but <laughs> the writers must have been being paid by the word because there are, especially towards the end, right before you get into the, 
the big battle, like the the end of the game is it's pumping there. You're you're fighting a lot. Oh, yeah. It's high action. It's pretty epic. But you didn't. But there's a huge chunk of game where they just. Just da, 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 Now I know you were complaining because you were like, they even talked about their feelings once. It's a love story. Oh you didn't God. expect they were going to talk about their feelings. Oh, Jen, like, <laughs> the problem with the, the dialogue is that there was so much of it that was talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. Especially towards the end. It was like, you, okay, your characters are developed at this point. You don't have to keep talking yeah, yeah, about you, nothing. You sold me. I, I laughed at one point. Because it was right before we decided to go to the last place for the, you know, yeah. the, the fight, the, the main bad guy. And they're all like, yes, let's do it. Let's save the world. And then it goes into one of those cut dialogue scenes. But let's talk about it for an hour first. And I was yeah. like, oh my god, again, really? But uh, luckily you can skip through. You have to hit your X button. Skip, skip, skip. But you always get that, they get the first word. So like... <laughs> your your and, sentence was eh, the, uh, that, in, the, uh, 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 well yeah they, like some of them were long some of them were, I was like I, I to be quite honest the last five hours of the game that I played could have been done in like an hour uh, I didn't listen to barely any of it yeah. I was so fed up with all the dialogue that yeah, I was I just skipping through that it from the first five hours I'd yeah. be like, oh, I'm and good. I I really listened to a lot of it because I do? wanted to know I want I want to be really involved with the story there I, I like the story parts of it but I was absolutely sick of all the dialogue at the end of it caught myself zoning out oh that's it that's it, it. Like, what will I have for supper you know, but after 60 hours of it, there was like a, a skip, like can skip you, the entire conversation. I would just want to know like the main. Can parts you give me the cliff story. notes of this conversation because I'm good. Let's focus that. on the positive. The yeah. uh, the voice actors, <sighs> 10 out of 10. Awesome job. Awesome. I I have nothing to say. Like they did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Good. All right. Value and replayability. Well, when you finish the game, you do get New Game Plus. Yeah. And uh, reading the description, you do get some new quests mm -hmm. that you can do. I think you can save all your stats and everything to start a new game, I think. Or it adds that New Game Plus stuff to a brand new game. Okay. Or you can continue on to do the new quests. Now, when we bought this game, we pretty much bought it brand new. This, this, oh yeah. We this, bought this brand new. This could really be a 100 hour game easily and more you can spend as much time as yeah. you want it it is the world is huge yeah it's, it's and if big. you're watching this a year from now yeah. this game might be twenty dollars we don't know it could actually be like great value this story was so good but a couple times there at the 30 hour mark i had to take a break for a few mm -hmm. days at the 50 hour mark i took a break for a week you did it, there was big spots in this game where i felt it was drawn out i had to get through it to get to the next part of the game and like yeah. i said the dialogue there was just too much they they could have cut that stuff out but everything else was awesome awesome game my overall I, it's, it would be definitely in my top 20 I but it does not crack the table lately like since he played skies of arcadia he only wants to play rpgs now like you're really you're really into, into that the story deep you stories are there, yeah i don't know if games change as you age or, you know what I mean? or I change as a gamer. <laughs> you change as a gamer. That's yeah. true, too. I'm kind of wondering when that, that happens to me. But because I started so late in life, really, yeah. really <clears throat> diving in, that it hasn't hit me yet. Yep. But you never know. I could play an RPG and then just be like, I'm Do you think you would play up. this? Do you think? That's the I thing. look on your face says no. No, it's not. It's not. You don't like anime, though. It's not that I don't like anime. I'm just not cartoons in general. It's not really something I gravitate towards. And if I'm gonna play an RPG, I want to start out with like the best one. I but, think if you're gonna try an RPG, you need to try a more mar modern, yeah, action yes. RPG. This is I, JRPG. Sometimes I have a hard time to appreciate older games because. Yes, I did grow up with them, but no, I didn't play them a lot, and I can't turn back time and change that, so I just don't yeah. have the same same nostalgia as everybody else does, but I get what you're saying. Yep. It, it should be something newer and fresher, so if you guys have any suggestions, I may not get to it right away, but I do take every suggestion you guys <clears> make <throat> seriously. Like, I have some like stuff written down, like, okay, well, so-and-so said I should play this, so I should play this, but there's so many games. Yeah, I know. So I would I would I would highly recommend anybody that likes 
anime likes action rpgs i'm telling you the story is phenomenal i love the story the story was great that's awesome yep story story would be a 10 for me wow i was shocked at how well it completely evolved towards yeah. the end yeah it's crazy where games have gone yep it's crazy. awesome game i recommend it Open the comments, recommend some other games. Mm -hmm. Maybe you thought this game was shit there and you can recommend something that I would like yeah. based on that. I, I don't know. Maybe you thought it was awesome and you can recommend games that are equally as good or an older version that, you know, if you like that, try this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I am not chugging Chug this because I'll die. Chug it. No, I can't. Chug it. I can't. Chug it. Scott? Do it. Do you want to take me to the ER? I'll I take you to the bedroom. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, I'm not chugging this, but game on. You're better than a human being than me. I don't know what to tell you. I know. Okay.